1 Samuel chapter 29. The story is wrapping up here. We're getting closer to the end uh, of 1 Samuel, and we can continue to see God providing for David. It gets to the point where he's he's with the Philistine army. They're about to go into battle against the people of Israel, and David really doesn't have to make any excuses to get out of this war. God takes care of him. The uh, Philistine king, Achish, who David has been serving under, takes him to the battle, and when the other, when his friends, the other Philistine leaders get there, they look and they say, are you completely out of your mind? Why do you have all these Hebrews with you? That's who we're fighting. Don't you understand what's going to happen? And they were probably right. It would not have been a good idea to take David and his men into battle with them. I have a hard time believing that David was actually going to fight against the people of Israel in this battle, and he probably would have turned. But uh, the thing that really stands out to me about this chapter is how the king Achish of the Philistines looks at David. I mean, he looks at, you can just see, he, he really has this high regard for David, very high opinion of him, because as David has been living amongst them, he is still a man of integrity. Um, and he has been uh, a good leader for Achish. And Achish even says, you know, you're like an angel of God to me, and I don't find any fault in you. And I think that is really impressive. And that's really the way it should have been when the people of God, Israel, were out and they were around other people who didn't know God when they were around the Philistines. Um, they should have made an impression. They should have been able to see something different about them because they were followers. They were set apart. They knew the one true God and they should not have behaved like people from any other nations. And we see this in the Bible in other occasions. It reminds me of Joseph when he goes to Egypt or Daniel and his friends um, in Babylon. The people of God ought to stand out no matter where they're at. And that's true of us too. That's why when Jesus was teaching his followers, he said, let your light shine so that when the world sees your good deeds, that they'll glorify God in heaven. And in our Christian walk, if we're truly followers of Christ, there's no way that we ought to blend in with the world, doing the things that the world does and bringing shame on the name of the Lord uh, Jesus. We ought to be glorifying his name in everything that we do. We, we ought to be different. They ought to, we ought to be out in the world no matter who we're at even if we're living amongst the Philistines, by our love, by our integrity, by what we choose not to do and the things that we choose to do, how we live our lives in a sacrificial way. There's so many different ways that we worship God by being a living sacrifice um, and the way that we choose to live our lives. And that ought to bring glory to Him and preach the good news to the people around us. And they ought to look at us like this king of the Philistines looked at David and just said, you know, I don't find any fault with you. He's sort of amazed by you and he could see that there was something different about him. God bless you guys. Have a good day.